Good day everyone. Uh, you're welcome to my channel, Dr. Festus channel. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're watching my channel for the first time, please kindly uh, subscribe to this channel, like the video, and then uh, you can also share the video. Uh, because uh, if you like the video, YouTube is going to recommend uh, this video to others to, so that they can also be educated. Thank you very much. Uh, quickly today, I want to talk about how to uh, how to create a feature on a Google Head and then convert the feature to a shape file using QGIS. Uh, you know, most times um, if you're working on in, in an area or in a location whereby it's difficult for you to get the uh, the uh, study area uh, boundary shape file of that place then what you can do is just to go to Google Head and then follow these steps that I'm going to show you. Uh, if you come to Google Head, you have to download Google Head and then install on your laptop or your computer. After you've installed Google Head, uh, just come to this search part of it on the left hand side and then type the location that you are interested in. Type the location. For example, I want to use this as an example of um, of a of a uh, what water body a lake, which um, uh, the work was done on the lake, and of course I want to extract only the I'm interested in the location of that lake, that boundary uh, location. So definitely, I do not need to get the entire entire uh, uh, boundary shape file of the town where the lake is located. So I will only have to just create the boundary map of that leak you know so i'm going to come here and then search for it uh let me say book it mera lake perak so if i click on it you make sure that your computer has an active uh, internet you can see the google Earth is going to bring up the feature that i've already searched for or the location that i've searched for so after doing this, the next thing is to identify the boundary of the feature that you are interested in. Now, I want you to know that you can do this for any feature on as far as it's on the surface of the head. You can create a feature boundary map, you know, using Google Head and QGI. So now this is the lake I'm interested in. You can see this is the boundary of the lake. Uh, I just want to extract the boundary shape file of this lake and then that is how it goes like that uh okay so this is uh this is a lake now the first thing to do after you have already identified the boundary is to create a polygon so you will come up here and you see uh hard polygon you see you create hard polygon so i'm going to click on this add polygon and then once you click on it this is going to come up and then you can come to any point on the boundary and start tracing it out so now i want to start from here to trace out the boundary of this uh, lake so i will start clicking one by one once you click you drag you drag across the boundary okay just be following me the way i'm doing it you drag across the boundary okay you drag across the boundary you keep dragging you can drag as you know just to create the shape okay uh okay so just keep dragging just keep dragging across the boundary okay okay i'm still dragging it you can try this as long as possible, you know, uh, I mean, as many times as you want so that you can get the perfect shape of the feature of your choice. Okay, so, all right. Okay. Okay, now I'm trying to, you can see. Okay. So, I've come to the other side of the lake see tracing it see tracing it see tracing 
in case you collected you've collected your samples you know on on this uh, location so you after you have created the boundary shapefile you can then get your uh your your coordinate and then you know you can map the the study uh point or the sampling point on this uh you know on this location okay so i'm still i'm still tracing 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 it okay okay you can see i'm still tracing it all right now i've come to the end of it so once you come to the end just just right click on it and then once you right click the feature will come up like this so you now come to the left hand side and then you will give it a name you have to name the feature so i want to name it as uh, bk boundary boundary okay now after i've named it okay uh then i would have to i would have to um I would have to do what we call the I have to change this color from white to a transparent color so just come here click style after you click style then you come here area under area and change it to out sorry outlined so now I've changed it to outline all right so after doing this you just click uh, ok now on the left hand side of the google head you will see under places you will see that the feature that you have created has already sh is showing there so you can just right click on it this is the bk boundary that i've created just right click on it and then you click save place as so you need to save it so you just click on this and then you will navigate to a folder that you are interested in you want to save it in a folder so that you can then open it on a, a QGI. So now I have to save it. Uh, let me create a new folder and name the folder as a BK. All right. So I want to save it on this inside this BK. All right. Now there are two main file formats. If you click on that save as type, you will see KML and then you also see KMZ. Usually the most popular one is KML. So just click on KML. All right. And then you click uh, save. You click save. Now automatically it has been saved in the folder. Now for me to now convert this after I have already created this uh, KML file. Now the next thing is to convert it to a shape file and then make it a ready shape file for use in your map. All right, so, so, um, so that is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go to QGIS and then uh, I would um, open a QGIS map. Let me click a new empty project. All right, so this is a new empty project. All right, so I double click on this QGIS. Now inside the QGIS, uh, you can then uh, do what you call you can bring up the file, the KML file, into the QGIS. So you go to Vector. After you click Vector, you see KML Tools. KML Tools. Then you now click Import KML. So I'm going to click on Import KML now. So then this will come up. And then I will have to navigate to the folder having uh, this uh, KML file. And the folder is BK. All right, you can see now this is BK boundary, the KML file that I saved. All right, so I'm going to click on it and then click open. So, all right, so after click open, then you click run. Just leave this other one and then click run. Once you click run, automatically it will be brought into the uh, QGIS interface. Then you can see this is your KML file, which is now almost ready to be converted to a shape file. Now, this is the, this is the uh, the location of the lake that I'm interested in. Now, the next thing after this is to right click on this, 